What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, after we created our schedule, we are going to change the properties or modify the appearance of our schedule. And then after that, we are going to create a copy of the schedule and then we're going to add it to a new drawing sheet. Okay, so let's get this thing started. So as you can see, this is the schedule that we have created. So let us try to modify some of the properties of this uh, schedule okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go to the sorting slash grouping okay and then this time instead of mark I'm going to sort it by level okay so I'm gonna select your level okay and then for the header I'm going to tick that box so after the level, I also want that to sort it by mark. Okay. Right. And then after that, we just need to check also the... Oh, no need to check the header for the mark. I only want that for the level here. Okay. And then for the grand totals, I'm going to tick the grand totals to calculate the grand totals okay so maybe i'll just select here totals only so totals only okay and then after that on the formatting tab so i'm going to select that and then i'm going to select the cost here and then for the alignment i'm going to select here right alignment okay and then for the field format, so I select that one. So you can specify here what will going to be the rounding places. So you can change that to two decimal places. Okay, so you can select any of this option if you want to change that. And also, you, if you want, you can put here a unit symbol. Okay, but for this one, I'll just use the project settings. So if ever you want to modify the format of your cost, for example, so you just need to uncheck your use project settings. So let me just select your OK. And also, for the calculation for my cost, I'm going to select here uh, calculate um, totals. Okay, so calculate totals. And then I'm going to hide the label field here. So I'm not going to remove that from the fields list, but on the format I'm just going to hide this so I select here level and then I'm going to check here hidden field okay right and then for the family and type I'm going to change the heading here instead uh, I'm gonna make that door type so door type so basically that's how you modify it so you can also change here the heading orientation if you want and then you can also change here the door uh the heading of your field so just like this one although the field that we use here is family and type you can change that to door type heading okay so let's select here okay to see how it looks like and there you go so as you can see this is now sort based on level Okay, and then after that by mark. Okay, actually you can also combine, <clears throat> sorry, you can also combine the two column here like that. So you just need to drag and then you can combine that. Okay, so if you want you can group that. So you can just select here groups. Okay, and then you can type here, let's say, uh, dimension. So that's it. So I'm just going to change this to I, small letter I, and then enter. Okay, and then of course you can go here and then you can change here the alignment. So you can put that to center and middle. So same with here. Uh, center and middle 
Okay, so let me change this as well to center and middle just to tidy up our schedule. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do here is after to modify my, my door schedule. So I'm going to create a duplicate of the schedule and modify the property. Okay, so let's duplicate this. So let's go to the schedule, right click the door schedule, and then let's duplicate this one. Duplicate the view. So let's select here duplicate. Okay, and then I'm just going to change the name here to ground floor door schedule. This is only for the ground floor. Okay, and then after that, let us sort again our schedule here. So our ground floor door schedule. So let's go again to the sorting and grouping. So let's click that. And then instead of sorting it by level, so I'm going to select here none. Okay. And then on the filter here. So since this is currently, since we copied this from the door schedule, it also shows here the other level. That's why I'm going to filter it. So I'm going to select here filter and then I'm going to filter it by level. Okay. And then I want that to be equal to ground floor because I only want to show the ground floor for that. And then after that, I'm just going to select here. Okay. And that's it. So it's now filtered by uh, level that shows the doors only for the ground floor. Okay, so now the next thing is I'm going to create a new drawing sheet for this one. So let's right click the sheets here and then let's create a new sheet. I'll just use this one, the default A0 metric title block. Okay, and then we are going to select the ground floor door schedule and then we're going to drag it inside here. Okay, so drag and drop. That's it. So maybe I'm going to put it here. And let's tidy up. So let's click this. Let's tidy up. Let's adjust this. Let's adjust more like that. Okay, and then you can still further modify your uh, door schedule. So like, for example, going back to my uh, ground floor door schedule. So let me select this and then go to the view. I'm going to select here tile views so I can see also my schedule here inside the sheet. So here on my ground floor door schedule, I can also modify here the appearance. So let me go to the appearance. Okay, so to change the print format of the ground floor door schedule, so we can change here the the header. Okay, see this one, the header. You can change that to different text text height. Okay, so currently I only have a 6mm Arial, but if you want to add some more text uh, text height here, you can create a text style. So let's say I'm going to cancel this and then I'm going to select text here. Okay. And then edit type. I'm going to duplicate this. So let's say I want uh, like 3mm. Okay. So I'll just select here. Okay. And then let's change this to 3. Apply. And then I'm going to create also, let's say, 5mm. Okay. And then change this to 5. Apply. And then, okay. Okay. Now, let's go back again to our ground floor schedule here. And then let's go to the appearance. So this time, uh, we can change now our header text. So let's select. Uh, let's say 5 mm. Okay. 
right? And then I'm going to clear this blank row data. So I'm going to, I, I don't want to have this once I'm going to uncheck that. And let's see what does it looks like once we select here. Okay. And there you go. As you can see, it's now adjusted. You will not be able to see the adjustment here on our door schedule. You can see that inside the sheet or once you place the, the, the schedule inside the sheet. So as you can see, it's now changed here. Okay, so let us change again. So let's go to the ground floor door schedule and then let's go to the appearance. So let's change this, let's say to uh, 6 mm aerial. And then I'll select your OK. And there you go. So it's now change. Okay. So again, you can still uh, modify this one, the size of your schedule if you want. Okay. So you can change that. Okay. So there you go. So hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.